Hi everybody, I'm Madison from Sleepopolis and in this video I'll be reviewing the original Puffy mattress. Puffy is actually running a campaign right now that donates mattresses to children in need. So if you do end up purchasing a Puffy, you should post a photo of you with your new bed on Instagram, Facebook, and or Twitter, tag at Puffy Mattress, and then add the hashtag Puffy donation to the photo and Puffy will donate a mattress for every 10 posts. So to help you decide if you'll be posing with a new Puffy, I'm gonna put this mattress through some tests, tell you which sleepers I'd recommend it to, and take a look at the materials it's made with. And you can also check out the more detailed written review of this bed by Googling Sleepopolis Puffy Mattress Review or heading to the Puffy website by clicking the link below. So I'm gonna start out by talking about how this Puffy feels. Keep in mind that feel is pretty subjective, so someone who's heavier or lighter than me might experience a mattress a bit differently than I do. So I gave this Puffy a 6.5 out of 10, which means this is a medium firm mattress. But I will say, if you're someone who's lighter than me, you're not gonna sink as far into the puffy, so it'll feel more like a six out of 10, a soft mattress. And if you're heavier than me, I think you're gonna sink further into this puffy and it actually will feel a bit firmer to you. So personally, on my back, I felt really comfortable on the mattress, felt nice pressure relief around my lower back, thought it was really comfortable. On my side, I was also really comfortable and got plenty of pressure relief, but again, if you're heavier than me, I think this mattress might actually be a little bit too firm for you. And then on my stomach, I did feel my hips sinking into the mattress a little bit, creating a bend in my back, which I think could lead to pain over time. So if you're a stomach sleeper, I would say you should opt for a firmer mattress than this puffy. I also ran a few tests to give you a more objective view of what this mattress might feel like specifically to you. First up is my pressure map test. So I put a pressure map down on the puffy, lay down in a few different positions, and you're gonna see that map range from blue and green in low pressure areas to red and yellow in high pressure areas. Again, keep in mind here that I might be a bit more lightweight than some sleepers, so other folks might experience more or less pressure on any given bed than I do. So as you can see on my back, that pressure map is all blue, and I think that's a really accurate result. I felt really comfortable on my back, got plenty of pressure relief from this puffy. If you are suffering from any kind of aches and pains, maybe some arthritis around the hips, I think this mattress might be a good option for you there. Moving on to my side, there is a little green, especially around my shoulders. It's a little bit darker. I personally felt comfortable on my side, but again, if you are a little heavier than me, I think you're gonna sink a little too deep into this mattress, hit that firmer support foam, and feel a little bit jammed up around your shoulders or your hips on the puffy. And then moving on to my stomach, that map is all blue, but I don't think that tells the whole story. I think this mattress is definitely too soft for stomach sleepers. Your hips are gonna sink into the soft foam on top of the puffy, and it's gonna throw your spine out of alignment. So if I were you, I would look for a hybrid or an inner spring mattress instead. Next up is my bounce test. This is where I check to see how much mobility a mattress provides. Are you gonna feel stuck in the mattress when you're starting to roll around and change positions at night? So as you can see, I bounced my steel ball down onto the bed and this is not a very bouncy mattress at all. You definitely feel more hugged by the mattress than on top of it if you're someone who likes that kind of memory foam pressure relieving feel. I think you're really gonna like this puffy if you're a combination sleeper who really prefers some more mobility from their mattress, I don't think the puffy is gonna be for you. And then next up is my motion transfer test. In that test, I use a seismometer to measure motion transfer on one side of the puffy to the other side. So if you sleep with a partner or maybe a restless pet, this is a measure of whether or not you're gonna feel disturbed when they're rolling around and changing positions at night. So as you can see from those results, this bed had a pretty decent motion isolation score. I would say you're not gonna feel too disturbed by a partner rolling around changing positions at night, but if someone does get up to maybe go to the bathroom, you'll probably feel that movement on the puffy. And then last up, we have my edge support test. This is a measure of whether or not you're gonna be able to sleep all the way on the edge of this bed and still feel supported. And a mattress with really great edge support actually feels just a little bigger because you have that much more surface area to really spread out on. I would say that the Puffy did not have super great edge support. I definitely felt a bit unstable when I sat on the edge of this bed and when I lay on the edge of this bed. This isn't surprising for a foam mattress though, so if you are interested in a foam bed, I don't think you can really fault the Puffy for that. 
So I have peeled back the cover of this puffy to give you a better idea of what's inside. I'm gonna take you through it now. I'll actually start off with the cover. This is a hypoallergenic and stain resistant cover, which is a really great perk if you have a kid or a child is gonna be sleeping on this mattress. And it feels really nice, soft and cozy to the touch. It's also quilted with some cute little clouds, which is a nice touch. And then next up we have this comfort layer. It's a gel memory foam comfort layer. It feels super soft, super slow response to pressure. You're gonna get a lot of nice cushion from this layer. Below that we have a poly foam transition layer that's gonna help ease you down onto the support core of this mattress, which is some high density poly foam. And that base is gonna give the rest of the mattress some overall support and provide just some shape, some structure to the bed in general. So before we wrap up, I wanna give you a few of my personal pros and cons of this puffy mattress. First up, some of my favorite things about the puffy. If you're a back sleeper, I think this mattress is gonna feel really comfortable to you. It's gonna give you a really nice balance of pressure relief and support. Next up, I think if you're looking for a mattress for a kid, the puffy is gonna be a really nice choice for you. It provides really great pressure relief, especially for a lighter body. So I think a child is gonna get that amount of pressure relief and support they need regardless of the position that they like to sleep in. And then finally, if you're someone who likes a little bit of a hug-like feeling, some pressure relief from memory foam, I think the puffy is gonna be a really nice fit for you. And then next up, some of my cons of this puffy mattress. If you are a heavier person, I do not think this mattress is gonna be supportive enough for you. I would really recommend you go for something with firmer support. And then in a similar vein, if you're a stomach sleeper, I think your hips are gonna sink in just a bit too far. So again, you should look for something with a little bit firmer support. And then finally, if you're a combination sleeper or someone who likes to feel really on top of your mattress, I don't think the puffy is gonna be for you. It definitely offers more of a hug-like feel. So if you are interested in purchasing a puffy, I wanna give you some info on their company policies. First up, a nice perk is if you buy a puffy right now, they're gonna throw in a free king size pillow. I really like this pillow, thought it was really comfortable, especially if you sleep on your side like I do. And the next puffy is gonna offer a 101 night sleep trial with this mattress. And your new mattress is gonna ship free and arrive compressed in a box at your door in just one to three business days, which I think is great as well. And then finally, puffy offers a lifetime warranty, which is a really great perk of this bed. And then next up, I do wanna take a second to answer some of the most frequently asked questions we get here at Sleepopolis about the puffy. First up, do you need a box spring with the puffy? No, you don't need a box spring with this bed. Any hard flat surface is gonna work to support it. You can also use a slatted bed frame, which it's on today, or an adjustable base. Next, can you flip the puffy? No, you cannot flip this mattress. It's built with comfort foams on top and you would not feel comfortable if you flipped it over and slept on those hard support foams. And then finally, where is the puffy mattress made? All puffy mattresses are proudly made in the USA. So that's it for my review of the Puffy Mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, let me know in the comments below and check out the full written review of the Puffy by Googling Sleepopolis Puffy Review. And remember to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our sleep news or giveaway announcements. And of course, you can always head over to sleepopolis.com for all of your sleep needs.